Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Rejected Project Gamers. I am your RPG, or Michael, and we're about to delve into one of the most infuriating games of the past, what is it, decade? Two decades? I don't know when this game came out. All I remember is that I hated it so much. But it's the impossible game, and it lives up to its name because, well, you'll see for yourself. Essentially, you're this orange cube, there's this maze, there's some music that goes with it, and you just try to survive. I remember I beat it maybe four years ago, five years ago, but since then I barely have ever played it. But I, <laughs> it's still like in my brain at some point because I can still do this part. But essentially I just decided to do this game because I figured why not do a rage game? Like we did Cuphead before, but again I had played that recently, I had conquered it, I was only doing the regular playthrough, not the expert stuff, so it wasn't nearly as infuriating. But this game, is 100% going to just make me lose my sanity. So here we are on the first first attempt. If I beat it here, this will be the shortest video and I'll be so happy. But yeah, the music is changes and goes with the stage. Ah, damn it, there it is. Yeah, those triple spikes are really hard to time properly. But yeah, this is the impossible game. So strap in. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cuts in between attempts, depending on how long it's go. Because this is probably only going to be like a 15-20 minute episode, but I'm going to keep going until I beat it. So whether that takes me only 15-20 minutes, or if that takes me an hour, you'll probably see within the next couple minutes based on... Uh, fuck. <laughs> also, this, this episode is not going to be family friendly at all because the rage is just going to get to me. So I'm not even going to try to put it... Really? God, I'm so early. Hmm. This game feeds off your rage too. As soon as you start letting it consume you, it just gets worse and worse. It compiles and it builds up interest on your rage. But it seems, seems, it seems like it's so simplistic. Oh, hello, hi, hello here from Final Fantasy. No, it seems like it's such a simplistic game. You're just a square jumping on other squares, avoiding triangle spikes. And so, it's just pretty straightforward, right? It should just be press A properly and just let go when you need to. And then otherwise, it's just an easy climb to victory. So here we go, we're back to where I was last time. Damn it! I hate those triple spikes. But yeah, this is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, this it was just Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys all had a great three day weekend. I'm sure it's feeling more like a two-month weekend for everyone, except for essential workers, who thank you very much for doing your job. I am doing what I can to join you guys in the ranks and work, but it's harder than you think. Honestly, there's a lot more scam opportunities than, like, actually what seems like legitimate jobs. Like, the amount of times that I've applied recently to jobs... Oh, shit, I let go too early. But the amount of times I've applied to jobs recently and just not gotten any kind of traction, or like the first email they send back is like, oh, actually reach out to this email. It's just like, no. The reason this job was posted here was because you were gonna, ah, oh, shut up. The reason that job was posted there was because you would reach out to me through that channel, not go through some sketchy Gmail, AOL email for <laughs> someone that's the head department of HR. Like, that's not how hiring works. But yeah, you gotta stay on your toes out there, people. Speaking of staying on your toes, I gotta stay on my toes on this level. So yeah, there's only one level, by the way, I should say. This isn't gonna be like a multi-level episode. It's gonna be just trying to beat this one level. It's not gonna be easy. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. Yeah, you have to like momentarily let go there and then repress A. can't tire myself out with commentary too quickly because I'm gonna be here for a while. Mm, 
too late. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> it felt so good on my fingers. This game is merciless. It's... And yet I keep coming back to it. I don't know why. I'm... I guess I'm just such a masochist because I... I beat this game. I did beat it like four or five years ago, and at that point I figured I'm done with it. I'm never coming back to it. And then I saw that there was a level pack, and there were four more levels after this one, and I bought it and then never tried. So, there's five full levels that could absolutely make me go insane. Ooh, I thought I was gonna be early on that one. I'm surprised that worked. There we go. Okay. This is new territory. I forget what I do here. What do I do here? Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Whew. So, what, what? Where am I going? Okay, okay. Oh, come on, how long is this level? And it's back-to-back -back triples, are you kidding me? The timing on that jump is gonna have to be picture perfect. I chose to do this game is because I was just looking through my library of bullet games that I've done and was wondering what would be a good addition to the channel especially for a Wednesday video something that's just a quick little demo something that's not gonna be a whole series and then I saw this come up and I was like ooh I haven't lost my mind yet on the channel do I want to do that today and apparently the answer is yes here I am at attempt 11, and I don't feel like I'm anywhere close to success. Alright, here we go with the triples again. Fuck. Yep, as soon as I clicked it, I knew I was too early. Ooh, wait, I might have been. Don't fall off. Don't fall off the squares. Keep me. Mm. I knew it. I knew as soon as I jumped that I had, was going to slowly fall off. Damn it. I'm gonna waste so much of my day playing this game, aren't I? Fuck! Okay. Alright, we're back to here. could I have done that any better? How? Fuck! Even if I just wasn't doing commentary while playing this and was in absolute tryhard mode from the very beginning, I honestly don't think I would be still anywhere close to success until I probably got to around 10 to 50. So there's going to need to be a lot of cut in the second level already. Alright, that's good. Alright, I have a general idea of how I need to jump for those next triples. It almost feels a little bit like figure skating, where it's like, he jumps a triple into a quad! Does he land it? Going back into it. Fuck, too early! Or no, too late. If it was too early, I would have I would have jumped and then landed in them instead of not making the jump at the beginning. <sighs> Alright, I think I'm just gonna cut here. If I make it within the next seven attempts, great. If not, I'll see you guys at attempt 25. Oh no, that was too early. I'm falling off. I'm falling off, aren't I? Please stay on to the love of God. Please. Fuck! Yep, too early. Yep. Next to the triple. Are you kidding me? Come on! It's that same freaking spike every single- <sighs> Alright, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Just positive affirmations, right? I am the square, I am the orange square. That was too early, god damn it, I'm the orange square that fucking dies! Extra jump, because why the fuck 
not, and that was too early. I then no, I'm losing it. Like they're somehow responsible like it's not me that's doing this jesus even i was almost early on that i'm losing all sense of timing and rhythm on this game again now there's a reason i left this game five years ago and i'm remembering why now i want to enjoy life and then this game just takes it away from you it's like, ah, the sky is blue, the birds are chirpy, and then you play this game and it's like everything is pain and sorrow and life has no meaning. You are just nothing but a square in a blue void. Nothing but darkness and blackness all around you. See, getting past that means nothing now because I know what's waiting for me. And the fact that there's that one part of this stage that I have yet to get past once in 29 attempts so far. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried doing this for more than 100 attempts at a time. I think if I usually haven't gotten it by attempt 50, I've just given up for the day and figured I'd come back to it tomorrow. But that's not an acceptable choice today. Today we have to beat the game. Either beat the game or die trying. And so at attempt 50, we'll slowly start taking away the oxygen from this room until I'm left in an absolute vacuum where it's just me and this game. And we'll see which one of us comes out alive. It's the same triple spikes every time. The spice, the, the, sp the spacing is the same every single time. I should always time the jumps the same, but yet I don't. For whatever reason, I just choose not to do the same thing. Like clearly I can jump over triple spikes. Why can't I do it twice in a row? And even when there's a quad spike in there. I wonder if anyone mod modded this game to do impossible game style levels based off popular music. That would be a surefire way for me to hate any music that I've ever loved or enjoyed at this point. If I had to hear the first 10 seconds of it every single time that I failed, and then never actually get to listen to the end. Someone had just done like a Bohemian Rhapsody version of, modded of this game, and then you would never get to the, <laughs> the second rock part of it. It would just be the slow ballad the entire time. probably just go insane even more with that because at least with this it's just mind-numbingly similar synth music and techno like it's all instrumental it's easy to get just kind of lost in the back of your ears see i can do that fine nine times out of ten actually it's probably just like seven times out of ten but still Why can't I do this upcoming jump properly? Please, hit it. As in, nail it. Mm, not what I meant by hit it! Listen to me, fingers! Listen to me, game! Please, I'll give you what you want. Is it my firstborn? I'll do that. Just let me get past that part. I need a drink. All right. 
This game's just gonna run and I'm just gonna die a whole bunch of times while I go get a drink. Just let it run, and then I'm cutting through all of it anyway. Okay, that little bit of caffeine might help. Might get me back in the zone. Let's see if we can do this. Regain some optimism. Feeling this run. I'm feeling this run. All I need to do is leave the room for about 20 seconds and shit, it's not the run. If I can get this done before 50, that'll be fantastic. Son of a bitch. Alright, this is the attempt. It has to be done. Now or never. Not only do I need to nail everything that has tripped me up before, but I need to get past that point that I have yet to pass, and then nail everything else that's unknown after that. All on this one attempt. The bicentennial mark, we can do this. You and me, Orange Cube. I feel like no one's ever given you a name. I'm gonna give you a name. I'm gonna name you... I feel like you would have an old school, old English, mi middle age King Arthur type name. So Orendel it is. Son of a bitch, Orendel, you've let me down and everyone. Now the king's dead and it's all your fault. Every now and then when I play games, I do things that are just mainly for comedic effect, or things that are meant to be like not striving towards the end goal of the game. Nothing about this is me trying to be funny. This is me trying to beat the game. Like, I can't just take attempts off to try and be funny about this game, because this game doesn't understand humor. This game doesn't have a sense of humor. This game is a pure, cold-blooded machine. Alright, Orinel, you've conquered your past. Time to reclaim your future. It's always the triples. And that wasn't even the double-triple, that was still the triple into the quad. I wonder which is going to come first, me going through half of my remaining storage on my computer, or beating this game. Okay. I think I can safely say I'm getting through that part with ease now. That part, every now and then, still poses difficulty. This part's still fine. I mean, it's just an occasional layoff of the button and then back to holding it. And then a double tap here, and then hold, keep holding. I had made the jump, but I didn't jump the second one, but I held it. What am I supposed to do there? How can I be any more on frame, as in like pixel perfect than that? I know it's doable, because like I said, I beat this game four or five years ago. I was a different man then. I wasn't even a man then. I couldn't even drink. Well, actually, if it was four years ago, I... No. Still wouldn't have been able to drink even if it was four years ago. But I still did. <laughs> Why is the drinking age of 21 in the United States? I don't know the history about that. Like, everything else can be done by 18, essentially. I can't drink it. Does this have something to do with being a drug, or just, like, uh, some kind of smear campaign that causes it to be that way? I remember having a birthday over in the UK when I was 20. And it was nice to be able to have drinks with everyone, because that, over there it's only 
anything. I did it. Oh my god. Okay. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. What is this? What do I do? All right, hold, hold, let go, hold, hold. I. <sighs> yep, yep. Okay. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Oh my god. The screen is like shifting back and forth. My eyes have just caught. My eyes are so adjusted to the scrolling of it now. Wow. All I had to do was talk about drinking, and apparently that was. That was my saving grace. Well, like I said, this episode is about to come out tomorrow, so I really can't do another level right now because I need to allow time for editing. But if you guys enjoyed this and want to see me try one that I actually have never beaten before. Like I said, there's four other levels that I fought those years ago when I did beat this, and I've never beaten any of those, so if you really want to see me descend into madness, then comment on this video. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, spread the word. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, internet!